And now we're going to get to two very funny guests joining us, Issa Rae and Kumail Nanjiani. They're teaming up for the first time in the new movie, The Lovebirds, and they're joining us from their home this morning. Good morning, you two. Good morning. Good morning. And, and first, we want to start. We want to know how you both are doing. Kamel, I know you and your wife, Emily, you're hosting a podcast to help people get through quarantine. So how are you two getting through it? Well, basically, just by talking every every, you know, every week I present my issues. I'm always spiraling <laughs> and she's a trained therapist. So then she helped me. And that's kind of the dynamic. She's getting me through it. And I think she's getting through it just by helping me through it. Well, we all we all need a little support. Issa, how, how are you doing? Uh, I'm, you know, going in and out. I was depressed a week <laughs> ago, but now I'm back at it, back on the, the productivity mill. And just, yeah, like Kumail said, talking through it. We're back in the writer's room, so I feel like I have a social life now. And, and you, back, you both are back on the big screen. And, and the lovebirds, you play a couple, you get caught up in a murder mystery. And at the beginning of the movie, you two are arguing about whether you could win the Amazing Race. But how do you think you two would do if you were actually a team on the Amazing Race in real life? We kill it. What were you about to say? <laughs> I was gonna say Issa would be great. I would bring, I would freak out and I would be like the drama on the show. Like people would watch and be like, oh, let's see uh, how Kumail spirals today. And Issa would be like, no, we can get to it. So I think we'd do well because of Issa. You can I think, no, I feel like we'd problem solve really well together and you have a newfound athleticism that we'd be able to tap into. I would, I would hold us back. <laughs> oh, Issa, these muscles are useless. They're gym muscles. <laughs> they're decorative. Well, they're, they're not useless in the lovebirds, you guys. We've got to take a look at a clip right now. Let's check it out. Oh, my God, the police aren't going to believe us. Do you know how stupid we sound? Citizens arrest. What is that? Okay. arrest yeah. from a citizen. Can you do that? Can you do that? On the count of three, okay? On the count of three, what? What is that face? On the count of three, can't reach your face. Ball. Just say it. On the count of three. three. What? One, two, three, go! Oh. What? Oh. What, a guy just ran for it? Jabron! Okay, the guy's name is Jabron. Run, Leilani! And the girl's name's actually Leilani. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, you filmed this movie in New Orleans during Mardi Gras. How was that? It was an experience. We were doing night shoots, so it was you, you just constantly saw people partying and you we were working so we couldn't participate. Um, but, you know, I attended my first Mardi Gras and it was not what I thought it'd be. It was a lot of parades. You didn't know Mardi Gras was going to be a lot of parades, Issa? I just knew that it was like beads and flashing. And I thought that that's what it was. I thought it was a lot of that. And I, not that I would partake, but I wanted to observe that. I didn't know that they were, I didn't know that the parades were such a big part of it and that there were so many. Right, right. Yeah, it was, as Issa was saying, sometimes we'd be shooting at four in the morning because most of the movies set at night. And then suddenly, because anybody can get a license for a parade, so we'd be shooting and then suddenly it would be like the loudest sound you've ever heard. And it would be like four drunk guys dancing in the middle of the street with like a 10 piece band, police escort in front, police escort in the back. And now you got to wait 45 minutes for this very slow parade to go by because you can't shoot while that's happening. So it was it was it was challenging, but it's also beautiful to see so many people come together to celebrate the same thing, you know, all different people. You, you, you don't see that very much. Well, you see, like, you guys got the full Mardi Gras experience, in my, in my opinion. And did you bring any, you bring home any souvenirs from New Orleans? I brought back really nasty coffee um, that, you know, from, <laughs> <laughs> from Cafe Dumont. Everybody's like, go to Cafe Dumont, and the beignets are great. But the coffee, I was not feeling. And I, I just threw it away, like, last week. And that Is was six that months chicory ago. coffee? I think so. It was it wasn't yeah. my taste. It was too bitter. Well, I got this. I don't know how it happened, but this is what I have. And Whoa! The <laughs> Whoa. other day, I just saw, last week, I, I just saw my wife picking it up and reading it and going, New Orleans, yo. No, it's <laughs> voodoo. That it's is voodoo, definitely. Emily. The quarantine's been difficult for us all. I <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, you guys, you're, you're so funny. And this movie is the same. You, everybody can see what they're going to get when they watch The Lovebirds. Hey, thank you. Thank you both for waking up and joining us this morning. It's so, so much fun talking to you.
Thank you for having us. Uh, yeah, thanks for having us, Michael. Of course, you guys. Take care of yourself. And The Lovebirds, it premieres May 22nd on Netflix. Make sure you check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.